up? What's up? It's the D Man Seven Six Zero Five. Okay, I had a uh, I had bought this um gaming rack on New Egg recently. Um, it's called Atlantic Game Depot, as you can see right there. And um, I bought it for like sixteen bucks. It was a pretty good deal, so I had to get it. And I've been looking on YouTube for this gaming rack, like a video of it, but I never saw no video of it. So I decided to take the time out of my day just to show you guys what it looks like on video. But it's pictures of it on Google, but I never saw no video of it. So, yeah. Atlantic Game Depot. He got a little, the information right there on the box. Right there, as you see, controller, PS3, Xbox 360. There's a picture of it on the box. There's the website right here. That's like the size, etc. Whatever. Okay. This uh the side of the box. Other side looks the same like this anyway. This the back, as you can see. You got information right there again. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take out the box. So, yeah. I think this thing comes with its own set of well, a little tool, bro. Hmm. I thought it was going to be like a, like a silver, but it's like a grayish color. It's like this thing that stands up on the side, you, you know. I think it comes with this nail. I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> I don't even know what the heck. Oh yeah, that's the thing with the, uh, you put the controllers on, on the side. Excuse the mess. Hmm. As you see, it comes with your own little bag, bag of tools. I thought it was gonna be like some nails or whatever, like that, but you know. thing look funny. <laughs> Looks weird. Okay, uh, I don't know what the heck it is. Let me just the bottom rack. That's not the bottom rack. Okay. There's all, there's all the pieces right there. I just did an unboxing. Okay. Just the you know, these instructions, as you can see. Hmm. You gotta put this thing together. So, yeah, you go to a little booklet. Looks like it's like just a paper. Get that to focus. All right. On the back. All right, I'm about to put it together. Okay, these are all the pieces to the gaming rack. Let's put it together, shall we? Okay, as you can see on the video, um, I had a hard time putting the uh, the nuts on there. And with this thing right here, it's kind of like crap. So I recommend you use a ratchet or something, a ratchet and or, or some pliers or something like that. But when you try to turn it, this thing, it'll try to like, um, it'll lose grip. So 
I recommend some pliers or a ratchet because this thing right here is freaking crap. All right. Um, the gaming rack, I like it. It's pretty sturdy. It doesn't move when I push it. Uh, when I first purchased it, I thought it was going to be like a chrome finish, but it turned out to be like a gray finish. So I was assuming it's going to be a chrome finish, but it's not because on the box, as you can see, um, this model is like different between that model. So I don't, it's, it, it's kind of weird. Uh, you see that you see the uh, the nuts on the top and the bottom. This is a whole different particular model. So I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, oh, forget it. But um, like I said, it's 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 sturdy. I like it. It don't it doesn't feel cheap at all. So I hope I satisfy you with your purchase. So if you're in the market and you're looking for a particular um gaming rack like this. Uh, I highly recommend it. So I like it. So um, I'm going to show the consoles that I own on the gaming rack. So I can show y'all what fits and what it looks like. All right, here you go. Okay, as you can see, um, my PlayStation 3 and then PS4 um, and my controllers. Uh, it looks freaking great. Um, it looks like it's hanging from the edge a little bit, but there's nothing to worry about. So let's say, for example, if your console falls off, if you accidentally uh, push it back, um, it's a thing behind it, a little bar behind it, protecting it. So you have to worry about it uh, falling off. So it's pretty sturdy. So it won't, it's not going to move at all. So you don't have to worry about your console falling. Um, yeah, please keep in mind this thing right here. Um, I put one I, well, once I had like put it on it was kind of like bending a little, the, the bars a little bit but I was kind of like scared because it was gonna bend them so I left this thing off this this uh, this another option if you want to put your games on the rack so please keep in mind of that all right okay this is my 360 and my Xbox one uh, and my controllers on the side again as you see um my fan is um it fits perfectly at first i was kind of like skeptical that my xbox one wasn't going to fit but it did so um i didn't get no scratches on the bottom of my console neither on my ps3 or my ps4 so um it looks like it's taking up the whole space it is <laughs> aka bcr um it still got clearance on the side and on the top and it's not going it's not going nowhere it, it fits perfectly just don't put it at the top because the top is shorter <laughs> obviously um as you can see you still got another option to put another console at the bottom uh, let me show you you got my playstation 3 right here see how it looks at the bottom looks pretty dope see that looks good at the bottom I know it looks pretty dark but you can see it right there let me see yeah. <clears throat> my PS4 see you still got options to put at the bottom let me see if the 360 fit at the bottom well it's gonna fit the bottom but let's see if it fits with the fan on the bottom my Nyko fan you see my Nyko fan right let me see fits perfectly with no issues at all you see it fits perfectly with no issues at all xbox one let me move this to the side let me see if it fits at the top it fits at the top as well but i recommend you put it leave it at the bottom all right let me take this fan off of it all right let me see let me see something. See, look, the fan's not gonna fit, so you already know the fan ain't gonna fit. Will it fit at the bottom by itself? Yes, it will. Look at it. Fits down at the bottom perfectly. Perfectly. So you still have that option. So, yeah, 
if you enjoyed the video if you like the video hit the like button if i satisfied with your purchase hit the like button all right peace never mind the noise in the background okay these are my consoles standing up on the gaming rack as you can see it looks pretty cool but please keep in mind the middle it was like it looked like it's been but it's not bending so please keep in mind it will bend a little bit there's nothing to worry about okay um if you want to put this thing whatever you want to call it because i don't know the name of it, i'm just gonna call it the holder you can um use it to keep your console still or you, you you can use it to uh store your games on your on your rack how many games you want to put on your rack don't really matter um it looks pretty cool as you as you can see it's pretty sturdy like i said it won't really move or nothing like that but the console will move a little bit but it's pretty sturdy like i said it's not gonna really like fall over unless you like push it by accident or something like that so um yeah it's a pretty good option that you can put your consoles up on it on the gaming rack it, that, that's if you don't have any room to put your other consoles at whatever you prefer still pretty cool okay as you can see this is the xbox one s and this is my fat ps3 again as you can see okay i'm just showing you uh how, how does it fit it fits down the bottom also as well too and you can put it and it fits at the top perfectly let me show you real heavy it fits perfectly at the top but just big so okay the s it fits down the bottom perfectly too there's more room for it because it's small and at the bottom it fits perfectly too see and if you want to stand it up you can you can stand it up if you want to put it like this or whatever like that so i'm just showing you how does it fit whatever you want to see so is it okay never mind the uh my xbox one fan coolest fan um okay the gaming rack um yeah the controller holders yes you can um put both on each side or leave one on each side don't really don't really matter um okay this thing right here as i mentioned earlier that it can hold the um games i mentioned it twice so never mind that but uh please keep in mind it will bend the little um rails a little bit but don't worry about it it's not gonna bend it all the way so it's just like you know temporary it's a temporary bend but um here go my uh, original Xbox games. As you can see, it looks pretty good on the gaming rack. You can put how many games you want on it. don't really matter. Okay, the gaming rack doesn't feel cheap. Uh, it's very sturdy, like I said, twice. Uh, it's very easy to assemble and very easy to move around. It's not too big. It's not too small, but it's a perfect size. So you can just about put it anywhere you want in your room or whatever. Um... I know I haven't been uploading videos lately like this because I've been working a lot and also I bought my um, Elgato and I'm still currently shopping for a laptop so I'm like on a budget so if you know a budget laptop that I can use that has like power or a video card in it put it down below in the comment section I was gonna buy a high power uh, laptop but I changed my mind because uh i'm cheap <laughs> but i ain't ashamed of that um more videos are coming so it's gonna take some time for me to um edit some videos and stuff like that it takes time it really takes time like it really does so um i hope i satisfy you with your purchase if you're in the market to looking um for a gaming rack like this it's other gaming racks out there and this is the only video on YouTube um, of me showing you this product because I tried to find a video of this product, but I couldn't. I, all I just saw is pictures and like articles of it, like reading about it. So I couldn't really find a video of this product. So like I said, I hope I satisfy you with your purchase. I hope you found what you're looking for. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And this is D-Man. Peace.